This video is not for the faint-hearted. Here we will be unleashing the full destructive capabilities of the ransomware Satana. So what is Satana? As the name suggests, it is nothing good. Like all other ransomware, it encrypts your files and demands payment in Bitcoin. But there's something unique about this one. Instead of just locking your screen with an overlay, it actually completely destroys your MBR, rendering your system unbootable. Ready to put your hands in the fire? Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to try to confirm that this is indeed the ransomware Satana. So let's check the MD5. Now let's just look it up on Firestool. As you can see, it is detected by a lot of engines, in fact 46 out of 55. Many of them use the name Satana, some of them call them Trojan Generic. But if we look at the Kaspersky signature, we can confirm that this is indeed the Trojan Ransomware Win32 Satana. Another interesting thing to note is that Komodo still does not detect this file. So in the later part of this video, I'm going to take a look at what happens when you execute Satana in a system protected by Komodo, because if the sandbox does not isolate it, it could be a great threat to people using Komodo products. But for now, let's see what happens when you run Satana on an unprotected system. So we're going to use RedShot to take a snapshot of our registry and our Windows directory so we can notice any changes. I just hope that the system remains usable for long enough so that we can actually take a look at the results of RedShot. Alright, our first shot is done. Now it's time to rename this file to exe. And now let's execute it. At first, as you can see, nothing happens, but don't let that fool you. This ransomware means business. The usual disappearance act. Now let's take the second shot, shall we? As you can see, we have Satana text files all over the system. And this is what they say, you had bad luck, indeed. Now let's compare the two states. As you can see, several registry keys were added. I'll go through this really quickly and let's we'll see if we can get some files. So these were the file attributes modified and these were the files added. So we have a total of like 54 changes. I don't think this is going to stay on for long enough. I think it auto reboots the system. So just waiting for that to happen. Meanwhile, let's just make sure that our files have indeed been encrypted. As you can see, this is no joke. All of these files are encrypted and you cannot access them. Let's try exiting the text file. Here is the same message as a system warning. And now our system rebooted automatically. There you go. Now we see the same message in red and our MBR is totally done and we can no longer boot into the system. In your face, ransomware destruction. Now as promised, I will try this out on a system protected by Komodo Internet Security. That is exactly what we have installed over here. As you can see, it is fully up to date. 
Now let me show you that this is indeed the same file that we tried earlier. As you can see, this is indeed the same file. So now let's run it on the system and see what happens. As you noticed, Komodo does not detect it. So here we go. Kids, do not try this at home. We immediately have a sandbox alert saying the application has been run virtually. And nothing seems to be happening. Let's see if this file disappears. I have waited for several seconds now, but I don't see any ransomware action here. Let us see what happens if we reboot the system. At the moment, it does not seem to be running. Maybe it was prevented from creating the file. Let's see what Komodo has to say about it. We have one blocked intrusion, and that is direct disk access. This is interesting. If we take a look at it, this is the ransomware executable, or one of the many executables that it uses. And this was prevented from directly accessing the disk. I guess I'm reasonably certain that this system was protected, but I will reboot the system in any case just to make sure. And there you go, we are successfully booting in. So Komodo does protect you against Satana. They still don't have it in their signatures for some reason, but the sandbox is able to get rid of it. Now let's see what happens if we disable the sandbox. So this will no longer be able to isolate the ransomware executable. Now let's try running it again. And even this time, the executable stops working even outside the sandbox. So it seems the many defense mechanisms that Komodo uses can prevent ransomware like this from taking over your system, which is great. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future because I don't think I've ever done something like this before. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more malware destruction on TPSC. Please consider supporting me on Patreon and thank you for watching. This is Leo, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.